Got them wings and things, y'all. Hey, Pam again. And I'm back. I told y'all the other night I was going to come back to do the pickle that I had, the spice pickle. But you know, I just couldn't do pickle pickle by itself. Had to uh, get greedy. Let me cut this open. Because y'all know this plastic, it'd be hard to uh, tear. And then I'm going to say the juice. Because John said the juice is good, y'all. Take the pickle out. There you go. It looked like a strawberry pickle, but that's the chili. We're gonna say grace. Even if I was just having the pickles, I the pickle, I would say grace over just that. But you see, I got some wings and I say things because I got some celery stick. But let's get it in. Father God, I thank you for this food. I pray that it be a nourishment to my body. I ask your blessings for the home and the homeless throughout the world. And all God's children said, Amen, Amen, and Amen again. So, as promised, I'm going to start out with this uh, pickle. And I went to Walmart and I forgot to check other flavors. But he said they do have other flavors. And this right here, um supposed to be a mild heat so let's see what it's going for y'all mm. I don't taste no heat But it's good and it's cold because I told you all the other night I was going to put it in the refrigerator. I should have bought it so I can cut it, but. It's salty. I don't get no heat, y'all. If you like hot pickles, I got a, uh, he, my brother in love, Chris, he love, uh, hot pickles. If you get this right here, then it got mild, get something that say spicy. Cause this don't have, this like a, them regular, them dill pickles I have over there on the counter. This not it. This is not spicy at all. So, I'll finish it. I know I don't throw nothing away. Off camera. So, guys, I went to Wayne Stop because yesterday, uh, my friend Josette at work, she had some uh, Louisiana World. Wing stop wings, and she shared with greeted me, and they were delicious. So I went back today to get some, and I have my favorite. Y'all already know what this is. The only thing is, I added my black seed oil. This has the black seed oil in it, the lemon water vinegar, honey. That's what that is. I got some ranch dressing and I had this old Orlando's tartar sauce that I'm gonna use on my um, sticks here. I called my husband, they wrapped up. He said, what is that? I said, sticks, he told me, huh? And then when I got ready to do this here, he's here, but he's not gonna come in and say, I'm gonna get him to do a video with me y'all because I want us to do uh, Q and A uh, that I'm I'm gonna make up myself because I don't have enough viewers, people that want to know anything about me. So I'm just gonna tell y'all a little some 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 things about me, and I'm gonna uh, try to talk him into uh, coming in doing that uh, Q and A uh, with me. I already uh, 
Let's go drop that on the floor, the piece of paper. I already told you all that I'm from Louisiana, so that's that's all. I have a few more uh, viewers that's outside of family and friends. I'm excited about that. I'm going to put that little tartar sauce right here. Here in uh, Shreveport, guys, this here, you, you can't have fish if you don't have this tartar sauce right here. It's just... It's not right. You just you just can't do it. This here is uh, the Orlando's uh, tartar sauce. We used to have a little place here. This originated from uh, P. Harris. It used to be a Freeman and Harris, a little uh, restaurant that was here in downtown Shreveport. This is some good tartar sauce. And I'm eating it with uh, this chicken and uh, these celery sticks, but fish, you can't. It's almost like that beloved sauce. You can eat it with anything. I saw, uh, I'll be watching them get some ideas and do it too. Lady T, she was eating with rotisserie chicken. And we get them, uh, Sam's, Walmart have the chicken too, rotisserie chicken, all the time. And I'm going to have to do some of that sauce with that. Mm -mm. It's smoked, y'all, but it's not hot, hot. And this is seasoned. I also have some, uh, the Louisiana rub, some, uh, sriracha, sriracha ketchup. And some of my, uh, Louisiana hot sauce. But from that first right wing, ain't gonna need none of that. This Louisiana roll is good. I don't know if they sell this nationwide, but if they do, you go to Wingstop and they had a Louisiana rub, try it. It's good. Mm. Yes, I mean the gristle. Like I told y'all, we had a uh, Shih Tzu, and I didn't give him the bones. I would give him the meat because for one, there was nothing left on the bones. Nothing left on the bones for my baby. So, yes. I don't, uh... Play around with it, y'all. I get that chicken. And I love to eat it with uh, ranch, but let me see how it tastes with this here. Orlando's tartar sauce. Mm, pretty good. Who else likes celery sticks? Broccoli and carrots, stuff like that. In the raw. And this is keto friendly. Once again, I told you guys, if I were to eat the things that I like more of, the things that I love, or the things that I love that's not, that's healthy for me, that's what I'm trying to say. Because I love cakes and pies and chips and junk, stuff like that, but I also love healthy food like this. But for years, the cake in the past was winning. Winning, winning. Also, the other night, guys, I told you all 
That's a young lady I follow on Instagram. And I was going to put her information in the description box. But I didn't do it because when I reached out to her, I didn't get the okay. And I had to upload the video. But she did get back with me because I just didn't want to be using anyone's name without asking them. And I didn't ask Miss B. Love if I could use her name, but she's a public figure. And I had purchased, uh, you know, it wasn't private, her sauce. So I felt like it was okay to uh, use her name. But I guess I probably should have reached out to her too. But anyway, her name is Danny, D-A-N-I, does keto. And she's on Instagram. She's lost over a hundred pounds on this diet, y'all. Doing amazing. The other young lady that I follow, her page, woo, them old oil slipper fingers in this glass table. Her page has been uh, deactivated, and it's several more uh, of them on there that I follow, and I am going to put... Uh, some of the ones that have recipes, keto recipes that I follow, I'm going to put them in the description because I don't feel like I would have to ask them because their page is just basically sharing keto-friendly recipes. But daddy gonna be getting a Facebook page too. I'm definitely gonna follow her uh on that. Did some ideas and inspiration to stay on this track. I was watching a video the other day, and that came across my mind because I looked at the camera and I see with my cell phone. I'm already 13 minutes into it. And beloved said that people used to tell her on the hub of videos, comments, less talking, more eating. And I told y'all I was going to try to do a video where I don't talk. I just eat. And I actually have one. It's like 13 minutes long, I think. But I explained it, I explained in another video why I hadn't uploaded that. Because I wasn't just eating. I'm so theatrical, dramatic at times. I was doing a lot of motions and all this kind of stuff. And I, yeah. So my sister told me not to upload it. And also... I'm going to look off into it. But I think I'm going to be getting another channel. And it's just a channel because I was, uh, I told y'all I learned reading the comments that was left with, uh, chilling with Walt. And one of the, um, 
I don't know if they knew what they were talking about, but they were saying that he wasn't monetized. I'm not monetized. It'll be a long time if I make it. I hope I do. But they were saying that it was because of the kids that you had in the video. And I have kids in my video. And we're going to have some more uh, my grandbaby's going to be in there because I have these spicy chicken noodle guys. Hot chicken uh, cheesy flavor. Spicy chicken noodle that me and uh, Lil Chomp is going to be uh, doing. So I don't know if I could do that with him on this channel. If I would have to create another channel where we just do challenges and uh, maybe vlog on that too. Somebody watching this and they could tell me. Let me know if you know. Anything about YouTube and with the kids, if a child's in your video, do they uh not monetize you because of that? Do you get penalized? I told y'all I watched Valencia Life and I remember in a video of her, she was talking about that. But I didn't really pay attention to it. I wasn't doing videos then. So. If you know, leave it in my comments. And I say this is keto. Now I know this chicken and this celery is, but, uh. Keto is so funny, you all, because on the keto, and I didn't know it, like corn, you can't have uh, corn, it's not keto friendly, but get this, banana, one medium-sized banana has 26 carbs. Apples, uh, you can do berries on keto, I've been reading and researching it, so I don't know, these carrots, it may not even be in the keto uh line of foods to have. I realize beans have so many carbs. Y'all know what I realized since I've been doing these videos for over about a month now. And I done heard this saying in so many different ways it mean the same thing. I had this teacher in high school, her name was Miss Cooks, and she had a rep a symbol of a clock on her wall. And inside the clock it said, Time gonna pass, will you? I heard people say time waits on no man. It seemed like I've been sitting here like six minutes talking with you. I don't seem like a long time to me, but it's going into 19 minutes already. So that's a true saying. Time gonna pass and time waits on no man. Time keep on ticking, ticking into the future. I want to fly like an eagle. Y'all already know. Ooh, I'm glad y'all didn't see that. If you did, I'm sorry. That was a juicy one.
Fly like an eagle, let my spirit carry me. Time creeps on, ticking, ticking, into the future. I was thinking about coming on here. Let me chew and swallow first, y'all, because I'll be hung food to the side of my mouth. And let y'all listen to some of them jams. I'll be jamming to them. I told y'all about uh, Major Harris. I don't know if y'all Googled him or not. The K was bad. Today I was listening to uh, put Wildflower in. I love that song. And uh, when you get to that point, and y'all, I don't know lyrics, so I did. He may not say this here, but in Wildflower, it says a part where he says, uh, "Be careful how." You hold her, or he could say wake her, because sleep is the only freedom that she know. Uh. Child. I just love it. My mom never listened to that uh, kind of music, and I just love that kind. Speaking of uh, my G, my G boo, Melissa. Her and Tasha, baby doll, they was laughing at me last week because uh, Sugar Hill Gang, that's what it was, y'all. I had never heard of the Sugar Hill Gang. Is anybody out there that's over 55 that never heard of Sugar Hill Gang besides me? It got to be more than me that ain't never heard of Sugar Hill Gang. Hey, baby, press, come here right quick. You ain't got to get in the camera. It's still rolling. But tell me this here. Have you ever heard of the Sugar Hill Gang? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Sugar Hill Gang? Yeah. Are you serious? You never heard of Sugar Hill Gang? No. Yeah. And we were even working. They was, uh, Tasha was listening to it. And I never heard of Sugar Hill Gang. Yeah. And they were laughing at me about it. And yeah. Melissa mentioned it the other day. She was still old talking old about rap. it. Old school rap. Yeah, Sugar Hill Gang. Wow. Yeah. The music. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, well, cause he old fifty five, y'all. So I would just, I just knew he wasn't gonna know. But that man know music. I'm telling y'all. I guess y'all say she said her husband do everything. Her husband can cook all good on the grill. Her husband know music, but you could give him a beat in any genre of music, and nine times out of ten, he gonna be able to tell you who sung, not just the song, who that artist was, you know, and the thing. Like I mean. He not music. That's my boo. He a smart man. Yes, he is. But yeah, y'all, I had never heard of the Sugar Hill uh, game. Now, I know I'm not like just on a rock. I know Run, DMC, uh, LL Cool J, Curtis Blow, I don't remember nothing he sung, but I remember I, he was in a movie. I think I think he was in a movie or something. We went and I seen him. But I had never heard of the Sugar Hill Gang, and then they called him Mo. Mo somebody. I had never heard of these artists, and mainly because, like I said, I listened to gospel and old school blues and R&B music. Yeah, I have not heard of them. I'm telling y'all, Google Major Hair. Bill Withers. Clarence Carter. I be stroking. Stroke it to the east. I stroke it to the west. I had this guy, Juice Air, if you watch it, I had this guy come in about two weeks ago, and he stroked us out. He sung that song, 
all night long. Yeah, he's he stroked. He stroked us out. But yes, guys. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to definitely finish this. Well, I'm not going to eat all these. My husband. Yeah, eat them. I'm talking to eat about three more of them. Hmm. He heard a sugar here, guys. Yeah, I see I got it in my big mason jar for today. I'm trying to see if I ever shared a um video with you all. Cause I see somebody put a picture up of their keto face. It's a grateful. And non keto face. I won't say I have done that. But anyway, I'm gonna be posting. more about how I can uh do the uh hot chicken noodle challenge little chunk is going to be looking forward to that for y'all up here close baby come closer closer than close he's gonna be looking forward to that guys now this I don't know what it is. I had some reading glass on the table the other night, but I didn't use those. Those were my husband, and they were like a... Three-point or something. Some of them be blurry, and even though they're reading glass, I still can't see out of them. I forgot to tell y'all that. But this is uh by uh, Huda uh, Beauty. I had got this from... Uh, Sephora with that matte uh, lipstick that I had showed you all. I just sharpened it. There's something right there. Yeah, I need to. Something in my teeth, y'all. Pull off, but I'm trying to. This is that color that I don't like. And just like I don't like the way it's food, I don't like the way it's money. So I'm trying to get something that would, uh, excuse me, help me with this color. I'm going to paint my nails too, y'all. Guess what color? Y'all know my favorite team is them boys, some cowboys. You guessed it right. That's a strawberry. It smells so good. Blue. Okay. Tomorrow I'm cooking um some turkey necks, neck bones, and some uh mixed greens, candy yam. And I'm going to do probably a pot of rice. I'm not going to eat the rice or the cornbread, but I may eat some candy yam. I get a chance, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a video. But that video, what I'm fixing to say, when I put that video up uh, tomorrow, which I will probably get it Monday, and you'll get this one here on Sunday. I'm going to work on this time, y'all. 
less talking, more eating. That's what I'm going to be doing. But anyway, guys, I enjoyed you just stepping in to uh, tell you about that pickle. Get it spicy if you like it. It tastes pretty good. It's a little salty. But I'm out of here. Peace, love, and hell grease. Blue magic that is. Be good, people.